And why don't we put something else behind us, like the things that people say and the way people feel about us hanging out? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Hanging out? We're hanging out. You're my best friend. There's no one else I'd rather spend New Year's with. Never miss a trick, do you, Nicole? Kristen, I heard you, you'd become a nun, but seeing you dressed like that is pretty shocking. Yeah, well, I wish I could say it was shocking seeing the tramp's tongue down your throat, but Nicole just can't help throwing herself at men. It was just a friendly, oh, New, a Year's friendly kiss. New Year's kiss. Oh, a friendly New Year's kiss, huh? I'm sure you would love for Brady to think that, but I know exactly how you operate. I don't know. What, don't what? even. Don't even. I saw you pounce on him the other night. And neither move was innocent. You are still the same pathetic, desperate slut you've always been. Vivian. Sorry I'm late. For a nun, you have one hell of a potty mouth. Yeah, well, I'm just speaking the truth. Have you been following us, Kristen? How long have you been back in Salem? Long enough to know that you've screwed up your relationship with Eric yet again, and you bounce back to his brother enough, again. Enough, enough. Oh, come on, Brady. Aren't you sick of the same routine? I mean, Nicole can't hold on to a man, and yet she can't live without one. She is just trying to wrap her legs around Kristen? you. Oh. Kristen, no. Nothing is happening. We are friends. You hear me? I saw her pull you into her apartment like a animal in heat. And I can only imagine what happened. Nothing, in you don't have to imagine. Nothing happened. And even if it did, why would you care? It looks like that you are married to God at this point. We broke up. And the real Kristen emerges like a demented butterfly. Why am I not surprised? I didn't believe for one second that you were remotely capable of committing yourself to God. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare judge me. I have devoted my heart and soul to a prayerful life to atone for my sins. Oh, you mean like killing an innocent nurse? Oh my God, I never, I never meant to hurt that poor woman. I, and I am so sorry for what happened. JJ loved her, you know. Yeah. He has been a wreck without her. Yeah, well, I have been destroyed since we lost our child, Brady. And I stood by you. No, I know that, I know you did, please. I just, I feared that that you were only doing it out of obligation. What? Not true love, why, Brady. Why wouldn't you say that to me? Why wouldn't you talk to me about that thing? Because I, I, I didn't see the point, because after our child died, I was convinced that it could never be the same between us, that, that any hope of happiness, any 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 future with us, it, it was gone, and please. So, so, so you, just, you just left without saying goodbye? That was your answer? Don't you see? I was in so much pain. And I needed, I needed to start over somewhere far away from here. And I really thought that I found my home in the church, you know? Spending the rest of my life doing penance. And then, and then JJ walked in and he pulled a gun on me and he called me a murderer and a monster. And then God, God opened my eyes. I don't, I don't know what you're talking, talking about. What do you mean he opened your eyes? about judgment. I am talking about judgment, Brady. For so long, people have thought the worst of me. To the point where I started believing it. 
And in that moment, that moment, being belittled and shamed by JJ and told that I was unworthy to continue to live, I mean, oh, something just switched inside of me. And I knew that I didn't need to take it anymore. And I know in my heart that I am right with God and that his opinion is the only one that counts. So no one, no one will judge me ever again. Do you hear that? And even Eli, Eli shouldn't judge Lonnie either. She left him at the altar. No, but there's more to the story than that. Okay, you know what, whatever. You know what, right exactly. there. God, I mean, you're judging me again. Look at you. You know, all of you just spitting scorn on Lonnie and me. You know what the truth is? This town, Salem, it's all filled with a bunch of hypocrites who have done far worse than what we have done. You know, and instead of cloistering myself in a convent for the rest of my life, I came back to take what's rightfully mine, and that is you, Brady. I still love you. I still want you to so just kick this, oh, this horde of the curb and come back to me. I know you still have feelings for me. I can see it in your eyes. Everything changed when we lost our little girl, Kristen. You, you left. I mean, I mean, you didn't even offer an explanation. Nothing. You just, you just took off. You know, I shouldn't have run. I shouldn't have. And I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I, I didn't have the courage to face you and share our fears. But I was, I was grieving our daughter. Was grieving. We were supposed to grieve together. Right, and we can do that right now. We can do it right no. now. But we may not be able to have another baby, but we can still build Kristen, a future together. I wish I could believe you. I, I'm just like I wish that all this work you said you've done in yourself, that it changed you somehow. I really want to believe that. What changed me was carrying our baby. It transformed me into this, this totally different person, this totally different woman, a better woman. The woman that you fell back in love with. And, and yes, that, that tragedy, our loss, I know that it knocked me off my axis. But all that change, all that good, it's still, it's still right here inside ben, me. Ben, Ben, what are you, Ben, what are you doing? What are you doing coming back and masquerading this way? Throwing insults at her? Why are you doing that? But God, I mean, she, she's a predator. She's not a predator. She has been by my side in my darkest moments. She has been nothing but supportive and sympathetic when you were nowhere to be found. Don't you dare make her out to be the bad guy in this. She is not. Please. When you became a nun, I was, I was actually, hopefully, you, you were going to find peace and you were going to find redemption. What you're proving to me right now is your soul is just as twisted as it's ever been, Kristen. <sighs> Let's go before she lures you just, into any more of her lies. I don't need to. Oh my God, you're hey, oh, Get off. off of me now. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Get, away with get off of her. Stop. God. You are proving to me exactly what I thought. You haven't changed a bit. You know that? About a bit. She's manipulating you against me, oh, Brady. She's not. Look, I don't have to tell Brady how toxic you are, okay? It's not like he forgot everything you've done. You've... You've tortured Marlena. You kidnapped me, you and Xander. You kidnapped my daughter and you made everyone think she was dead so that you could take over my life. What is wrong with you? All because of your sick plan to get Brady back. Do you see she's using you, Brady? She's settling for you because she can't have Eric. And when Eric gives her another chance, she's gonna dump you to the side. Oh, please. Oh, don't even. I mean, she doesn't love you. She doesn't want you, but I do, Brady. I do, more than anything in the world. So why would you want to be with her when you can be with me?
this was supposed to be our night, Brady. No. No, it was. And I and I, ha, I wore this dress. And you promised me that we would ring in the new year together. So please, 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 we can do that. Just we, you and me right we now. We can't do it. Because I can't let you back into my life knowing what you're capable of. I know too much, Kristen. You need to leave town. You need to go back to Italy. You leave her alone. You leave me alone. You hear me? <sighs> this is all your fault. You should have thought about the consequences when you stole my life. Brady! <sighs> Ha, ha, ha.